What's up folks, this is Sacrificio bringing you a farming guide. This time we're going to be talking about BAM, the Barbarian's Archer's Minion strategy. As you can see, I'm maxing out my building queues with Barbarians, Archers, and Minions. And uh, my composition at the moment, because I'm doing a bit of upgrades, my composition looks around like this if I just max them, keep them maxed out and keep them fully queued. This composition is working quite well for me, tw about 25 Minions and uh, the rest divided between Barbarians and Archers. The strategy is very simple. First, you need to find a base that has enough loot. Second, you need to look where the loot is. Is it in a storage that's accessible to you? Is it in a, a storage that's in the center that's not accessible to you? Is it in a collector? A collector or a gold mine on the outside, that's exactly what you're looking for, or at least close to the outside, that's exactly what you're looking for. And after a bit of hunting, you're gonna find a base that looks a little bit like this. I put that on fast forward so you could see it didn't actually take me long to find a base that's worth attacking. So here you can see most of the collectors and gold mines are on the bottom uh, left and right sides of the base. What we're going to do, we're going to do a very simple, simple strategy. We're going to clear some of these outer buildings, including this mortar, and now you can see the Tesla Tower. We're going to clear some of these army camps. And then, very, very simple. Layer one of the, ba of the, of the attack is the Barbarians. They're going to go straight in. They're going to take the majority of the hits. Layer two is the archers, and where necessary, layer three is the minions. Now, minions are perfect for going that extra layer in uh, over one, one set of walls. Um, but yeah, so this is a very, very basic strategy. A, a simple layer of barbarians, a simple layer of archers, and then uh, minions where needed. What, uh, so what do you have to look out for in this strategy? Well, the first thing you have to look out for are the mortars. Now, as you can see, when a mortar hits, hits the ground troops, they're doing a lot of damage. And, and in the case of archers, one hit and they're gone. The other thing you need to look out for are wizard towers. Because we're using a lot of troops and they're all grouping up, that's perfect for wizard towers to just take out the whole group. That goes for not only the ground troops, but also the minions. So the second thing, or the third thing rather, that we need to look out for are the air bombs. Air bombs in the middle of a group of minions going to take out the whole group, and it's really, really annoying. So here you can see we've taken out almost everything, and uh, I, uh, what I'm doing here is I'm just looking for a way to get that extra 5% uh, damage so that I can clear the, the uh, one-star victory. Um, down the bottom here looks like a simple end. The only thing I need to worry about is this wizard tower. Um, I just need to make sure I don't put too many over against the wizard tower. Uh, interestingly, air defenses air defenses are bad news against uh, uh, airbound uh, attackers, such as dragons and uh, balloons and so on, and of course minions. But they're not as bad as wizard towers in this case because they only attack one one target, whereas wizard towers can wipe uh, wipe out a whole group. So there, I got the one star. I'm pretty uh, pretty happy with that loot, 400k uh, all in. And uh, here's the second attack. Now this base is a little bit funny, but it's perfect for a, a BAM attack. The reason I say it's a little bit funny is this outer wall is is providing a block layer. So as soon as I drop barbarians, they're pretty much going to run around that wall. Um, if I drop them close enough to the center, they'll start breaking through the wall. The good news is the mortars are far enough back that I don't have to worry too much about mortars taking out my barbarians until they get further in. So I'm going to throw a few barbarians and see how far in they run. Then I'm going to drop my archers. And uh, once again, I'm going to follow the same simple BAM strategy. Throw in the Barbarians, followed by the Archers, followed by the Minions. Now, I can see one gold mine is in the middle at the top of the base. Um, I'm not too worried about missing out on one. But down the bottom of the base, the reason I uh, chose to attack the bottom side second is because there's an inner layer of two different gold mines. So I'm attacking this one second. I'm going to focus fire my uh, archers on their uh, outer wall, and uh, now they're all going in. So I've saved the majority of my troops for this uh, bottom side. I'm going to throw all of my minions in here, and that's going to take out most of the loot. Should get uh, both. Okay. So now that I've got both, I don't think I have enough troops left to be able to break through that top side. What I do want to do is I want to take out uh, enough buildings so that I can at least get a three-star victory. So here I'm just spreading out some troops. I'm taking out the outer uh, structures. Unfortunately, um, I took a long time to work this out, but uh, unfortunately I just could not kill enough. I could not destroy enough buildings to get that 50% damage, so I did lose some trophies on this one. Oh well, c'est la vie. So around 460k uh, loot on that one. 
third attack here. Uh, this one is once again a perfect contender for a BAM strategy. You can see the collectors are very full. You can see the uh, the storages are quite empty, even though there is uh, 470, uh, 475k of loot available. So once again, uh, I need to I need to look at where am I going to attack. So on the left hand side, I have a number of collectors. I'm just going to throw in my uh, barbarian king here and let him take care of those with a few of his barbarian buddies. And then down here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus a, a couple of barbarians and a couple of archers on each of the uh, collectors or gold mines. Just a couple of barbarians and then a couple of archers. And and each one of those groups, each one of those uh, archer-barbarian archer, archer -barbarian combos will take out each one of those collectors or mines. So you can see that I have a number of minions left. What I'm going to do with those minions is I'm going to uh, throw them in behind a wave of archers up the top right hand side. I'm just uh, going to focus on those uh, two storages on the left and uh, left hand side, the gold and the elixir. Uh, but most importantly, I want to take the Dark Elixir out of that drill. Uh, that drill has been bugging me. I want to take that Dark Elixir and uh, replenish some of my Dark Elixir that I've been spending on these minions. So that's pretty much it. The BAM strategy is very simple. You throw your Barbarians first, you throw your Archers second, you throw your Minions third. You focus on bases that have uh, as much resources in their collectors as possible. But you can even uh, bring, uh, depending on the base, you can even bring resources out of the, col out of the storages and uh, get some good loot. So that's it for this particular attack. Um, as you can see, I've had uh, another, another successful attack. We're looking at another 440k resources plus bonuses. And um, this particular strategy works very well for me. It's quick to build, it's very quick to turn around, and I hope it works well for you too. That's it for this episode. Please click subscribe, please click like, and feel free to drop any comments you have. This is Sacrificio. Bye for now.